We have seen why the end rings are there in the square phase type of induction motor. Now comes another thing which is called a screen, which since the my conductor are not placed like this, and conductor are at some angle to the uh, shaft actually, to the angle uh, of the uh, shaft. So my conductors are having some screen, which is called a screen actually, a screen such that uh, it that never gets locked in one position and uh, the, uh, there is no uh, crawling or the fogging impacts which we, we will be discussing later. So this is one of the reasons that uh, uh, motors are uh, straight to so have the smoother operations to have the uh, uh, those quieter operations also. So we will be discussing about the advantage and disadvantages of the uh, square enclosure and wood rotor type 1. We have discussed already that, that no external resistance can be added in the square cage type of induction machines or square cage of uh, type of rotors in the induction machine but there can be a, uh, uh, one external resistance which can be added in the uh, rotor of the uh, machine so that uh, there may be uh, some reduction in the current at that time starting current or the velocity of the uh, to have the change in the velocity when we have the speed control of the machine then we can have the wound rotor type of machine but when we want to have a quieter operation when we want to have the cheaper and red type of rotor then we will be going for the square treatment because as I said that there cannot be any resistance added so it is a compact one and since the conductors are speed so it can be used for any number of poles and it can be used uh, in any rough conditions. It, it is very quite, uh, very cheap in construction also. And, and the thing is that it is uh, uh, readily used in uh, industry, industrial areas. So square coach induction machine are normally used. So only the only disadvantage of this square gauge is that it will not be having any external resistance in it and since when the, the uh, term with when the requirement of the torque and the uh, force or the current we will be discussing it in the next <coughs> we'll be starting with two phenomena which we have said that one is called the crawling and cogging there are the two uh, ill effects in the rotors of uh, induction machine, one is called the crawling and one is called the cogging. Uh, what is crawling? Crawling is exactly uh, when the motor runs at a very low speed. The, uh, if the rated voltage is applied to it, then it starts at the normal one, but it attains a very low speed, uh, approximately one seventh of the speed it attains at uh, full applied voltage also. Uh, this is because of the uh, harmonics present in the magnetic field. Magnetic, if the magnetic field is uh, uh, harmonics are dominating in nature, then motors attains a very low speed in when running in full conditions, full load conditions. Another uh, reason for crawling is that the voltage, the supply voltage is very low, as well as when the load is very high at that time also crawling effect is seen and uh, this crawling effect can be uh, minimized by a screen as we have discussed this crawling effect is minimized by so that the, the locking of the rotor doesn't uh, the, uh, that means the rotor doesn't faces the uh, stator and uh, in the same way as all the rotors all the conductors are placed suppose uh, the if the rotor conductor are placed like this and if they are coming under poles like this 
So one can see that every conductor is locked right now. So uh, they will not try to move. So it, it, once they are locked, they will be. Uh, so there are three different poles. So we can have three different poles are in length, and we can have the loop on this. Now I have three different power pairs and six conductors which are under different poles. If this is the element we will be using then uh, sure shot crawling uh, effect will be seen. So because of this reason only they are squeaked. Squeaked is means that one conductor will be here, another will be here, another will be here, another will be here, another, another. They will be like will not be under the same pole pair. So that the locking effect will not be there and uh, the uh, rotor will be running smoothly also. Another fact will be discuss with the cogging effect. Cogging effect is the actual failure of the built up of the induction machine. It means that when the foot is applied to the uh, induction machine, the rotor fails to stop. The rotor doesn't stop. It is because of the certain alignment of the stator and rotor poles which are uh, uh, there and which get locked as we have seen in the crawling effect also. They got locked permanently and uh, there is no relative velocity between the stator and the uh, rotor. At that time, the locking is the fact is seen. This can be uh, decreased by a certain number of uh, integers, and uh, that is why one of the reason that the, uh, the rotor pole, uh, sorry, uh, stator pole and the rotor conductor are made in the uh, uh, factor of the integer. They are made in the form of uh, factor of integer to avoid the cogging effect. And uh, for crawling, uh, it is minimized by the screen. So these two things are pretty much important regarding the uh, objective point of view. The crawling is there, what crawling is we have discussed, what cogging is we have also discussed. What is the impact of the crawling is that motor runs at a slower speed, motor never stops. Motor is still running, that is strong. When the motor fails, fails to build, fails to start, then that is called the throttle. So these two facts are almost the same, but there is a slight difference which we have seen. And uh, uh, the way these effects are minimized, throttling is minimized by screen, that is also important, and throttling is minimized by certain factor of stator to, to the uh, rotor. And that should be an integer rotor pole, uh, sorry, stator pole to the rotor pole. It must be always an integer, not a even or odd number. 